Hi, the main topic of this video are the advanced functions of the Vertex G1000 like autopilot, usage of approaches and managing descents. I highly recommend good headphones to enjoy the excellent and sometimes complex sounds in the cockpit. This video shows a very late beta version. Regarding the G1000, you will get in the release what you see here, the already excellent sound of the diesel engines will be even somewhat improved in the release version. In this video, clicking a button takes one second. To explain what that means takes one minute. So sometimes what I talk will not match with what you see. Sometimes I use subtitles as a third information layer. You can go back in the video with your mouse if it was too much. I have set up a simple flight plan and will also use vertical navigation but due to weather getting worse ATC will advise us later to perform an IFR approach. We are too far away from the first waypoint, so GPS mode will get armed but not engaged. During takeoff roll we get close enough, GPS mode gets engaged. I will demonstrate later which actions are needed if this does not happen. Experts might get already a first idea here.
time to follow the flight director shown as Red Wings before engaging the autopilot. Otherwise you get a slight overshoot, as I demonstrate here. In the meantime, weather at destination got worse. To choose an approach, go to the waypoint page, airport sub page. Destination airport should be already shown. And press the approach button. ATC instructed us to use the LPV approach and Golf Lima Oscar Romeo Romeo Transition and Runway 31. I immediately load and activate the approach to demonstrate that Autopilot immediately ex executes a direct to curse to the initial approach fix. I enable VNAV guidance mode. See, we are close to the top of descent. Setting the new altitude indicated in red. arm VNAV now in the autopilot to demonstrate what happens if you are too late. ATC instructions arrive too late or for other reasons. If we arm VNAV after the intercept, which is indicated by the vertical deviation indicator passing its center. PTH mode remains in armed state and no descent occurs. The solution to fix that is easy. Simply let it intercept again by establishing a descent. Here I use constant vertical speed mode. Set a descent rate higher than required as indicated by the red arrow in the vertical speed tape. 
you will intercept again and then VPTH mode changes from armed to engaged and you can lean back and relax then. See how vertical deviation gets smaller also at the MFD that says you approach the new intercept soon. Approach starts at the initial approach fix Golf Lima Oscar Romeo Romeo. Approach and VNAV guidance always ends at final approach fix. Here it is Lima Oscar Tanko Kilo Echo. See the 3000 feet constraint in small blue letters. This is the last constraint used for VNAV mode. The 4000 feet is forecasted using VNAV mode but not used for guidance. The constraints in small white letters are part of the approach but for reference only VNAV is disengaged in this phase. We will use LPV glide path mode in this phase of flight. Flight path angel is 1.7 degrees here. I have set up a new target altitude of 2000 feet to demonstrate that this will not really matter in this case as long as it is set to 3000 feet or below. ALTV in white within the AFCS status box says a target altitude defined by VNAV constraint is armed as a target for the actual active VNAV descent. I will arm the LPV approach mode now. It is called glide path mode GP. It will come into play after the VNAV approach phase ends at 3000 feet altitude. The exact timing for arming GP is not critical. It will be pushed into the queue of arm modes and get engaged in time. 
for those who have no clue yet what LPV mode means, very simplified, see it as some sort of ILS mode, but powered by a certified GPS in the aircraft instead of very expensive transmitters and antennas located at the destination airfield. When passing bottom of descent soon VNAV approach phase will end, altitude stays at 3000 feet then, waiting for intercepting the GP LPV glide path. GP mode changes from armed to engaged then and descent will start. Vertical deviation indicator comes to life. See that the red marker is a diamond, not an arrow as during the VNAV phase of flight. And see that within the vertical speed tape there is no red marker as in VNAV mode, suggesting any descent rates. I have set the target altitude to 1000 feet here, again it doesn't matter in this case, but I did it so that the pilot gets a wake up call, in this case at 2000 feet, that it is time to config the aircraft for final approach.
is engaging autopilot now. Hope you found it useful, hope you enjoyed it, bye for now.